mass, weight, and normal force. Now let's consider mass versus weight. We often use these terms interchangeably, mass and weight, but they're actually very, very different. Mass is the measure of the inertia of an object, its resistance to being accelerated. In the SI system, mass is measured in kilograms. Mass is not the weight. Remember that. Mass is a property of an object. It's really a measure of the amount of stuff or matter in the object. It doesn't matter where that object is located. Weight, on the other hand, is the force exerted by gravity on the object. So if you go to the moon where the gravitational acceleration is about a sixth that of Earth, you will weigh a sixth as much, but there's still the same amount of you. Your mass will be the same. Have a look at the attached video to learn a little bit more about mass and weight. Now let's take a look at weight. Weight is the force of of gravity on an object. Close to the surface of the Earth, where the gravitational force is nearly constant, weight can be calculated with a simple equation. F with a subscript G is equal to M times G, the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Or we can write it as W, which is the weight, is equal to the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Well, that comes from Newton's second law, F equals MA, and here A is just equal to G. Now, near the surface of the Earth, G is 9.8 meters per second squared in a downward direction. Let's do an example. Let's determine the force of gravity, or weight, on a 6 kilogram bowling ball. And we're going to assume that because it's a bowling ball, it's likely to be on Earth. So let's write down what we know. We know the mass. Mass is 6 kilograms. And we know the acceleration due to gravity, g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, since we're asked to find the weight, um, we're not going to worry about the direction of it. Normally, I would say that G is pointing down, and I would put a negative sign on it. But generally, when we talk about weight, we're talking about the magnitude of the force. So I'm going to use, uh, I can use uh, either, I can either look for W or F sub G. They're the same. I'm going to use W equals MG. And making substitutions for each of the quantities, I've got 6 times 9.8. So this is 6 kilograms and 9.8 meters per second squared. And my total is going to be 58.8 newtons. So weight is 58.8 newtons.